In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we're going to do a doppelganger effect, or a body double effect, or an actor cloning effect, or C2 of you effect. Whatever you want to call it, it's having the same actor appear on screen twice, or even more times. The first thing you want to do is make sure you film with a tripod. Film your actor coming in from one side of the screen, and then again from the other side. Then bring all the clips into Premiere. First, I'll drop on the left side of the actor coming in. Here, we can go ahead and move our playhead to the right to find out where the actor encounters the other actor. So here, right here, they're startled. So just to help me out, it might not be precise, but I'm going to press M to drop a marker here. That way I know where that is. And then I'll also move to where there's no actor on the screen and press Q to delete everything to the left of the playhead. Then I can move forward and find out where the actor has left right here, and I can press W to delete everything to the right of the playhead. Then I'll go ahead and bring on the right-hand screen. I'll do the same procedure. I'll move to where the actor comes in. So right about there. Then I can press Q to delete everything to the left of the playhead, move all the way in, and here the actor leaves. Then once again, I'll press W to delete everything to the right of the playhead. And then I'll find out just a general place where the actor is startled by seeing themselves. Somewhere around here. This will give me a good place to begin my lineup. Now I'll raise this video clip up to track two and lower the audio down to track two. And then I'll overlap them. To start, to start I'll just line up the markers to see how that looks. And you notice we have a problem. What we need to do is mask out one of our actors, and that can be easily done with the opacity controls. So select the top clip, then in opacity, just click the little rectangle. This will put an additive mask, and so we need to stretch these points so that they actually show what we want to see. So just move them around the side that your actor is on, and then look to see that the mask doesn't pass through any important detail. And then we want to add a bunch of feather to the mask. Make sure the feather doesn't touch the other actor, but this will help blend the two scenes together. So now we can play to see how it looks. Pretty good. Notice that we need to make sure that our clips are the same length. Here you can see that mask. So I'm going to drag this clip out and drag this clip out. And so now we have our two actors coming in and being startled. By adding a few close-up shots, we can heighten the drama. So right after they see each other, I'm going to cut these clips, move them to the side, and then I'll bring in some close-up shots. Here I have a left close-up shot, and then I have a right close-up shot. Move your clips to the side, and then we need to trim our close-up shots. So here I'll move the playhead to right as the actor is startled. I'll press Q to delete everything to the left of the playhead. And then I'll press W to delete everything to the right. I'll do the same thing with this one. So right as the actor is being startled, press Q to delete everything to the left, and then move forward. I think I'm going to use the second take. So press Q to delete everything to the left, and then move forward just a bit, and press W. Then right-click, ripple delete, and let's take a look at that. There we go. So with just a simple mask and a little bit of editing, you can have a doppelganger effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Try it out for yourself on your next project.